Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, just to kick us off, welcome to Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Nikki is the director of the new uh, XPRIZE, $100 million carbon removal, uh, which you'll be hearing more about. Uh, hey, Nikki. And hey to Paul. Uh, Paul is the site lead of Creative Destruction Labs Vancouver uh, and the Assistant Dean of Innovation at the UBC Saunders School of Business. Welcome to you both and welcome to all of you uh, who are joining here today to hear more about the new Air Miners Launchpad in, in partnership with XPRIZE and Creative Destruction Lab. So we're all here today uh, and that's the, that's the three of us that are gonna be, gonna be sharing, but also the, all of you, we're all, we're all here today to figure out how to pull gigatons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It's a, it's a huge challenge. We can point at these things. A lot, a lot of people say that, that these technologies are unproven, that these things might never scale. And to that, I think about, uh, I think about one of the biggest uh, challenges that's faced humanity recently, it's COVID over the last, uh, over the last year. You know, when the, when the COVID virus was first discovered, the genome of it was sequenced in, in days. And that was something that the, the world had never uh, moved that fast before. And in the, in the coming weeks, we heard later that uh, a design, a draft, or a vaccine was sketched out. And in the weeks and months that followed, scientists and engineers and doctors federal governments and local communities came together to design, manufacture, and deliver millions of vaccines into the arms of people all around the world. And so we need to do the same thing for carbon removal. And that's why I'm here today to proudly introduce the Air Miners Launchpad. About a year ago, uh, I started working with Rodney Payne, who's a founding partner of Creative Destruction Lab Climate, and he works with Paul. And we wanted to figure out how can air miners have the most possible impact uh, on carbon removal. And so as we looked across the industry, we interviewed so many of you who are in the audience, we interviewed scientists and engineers, uh, investors and inventors, people running accelerators. And we took a step back and, and analyzed what we saw. We saw that the biggest corporate players were investing and inviting people to apply for funds. We saw entrepreneurs like Bill Gross talking about trillion dollar opportunities. Uh, we saw scientists and engineers and inventors sketching new ideas for solutions, everything from seaweed to direct air capture to nuclear power. And what we saw across all those, but all these people were so passionately driven by pulling carbon from the air. And so we asked ourselves, how do we enable more of this massive impact that we need? It was happening organically, but how do we 10X? How do we 100X? How do we 1000X what's happening? So as you know, a few months ago, we announced a accelerator. We were working on an accelerator to, to formalize and systematize all this or, organic uh, activity. So we wanted to see how do we create more entrepreneurs and teams and ventures and help them get out into the world. And so we've been working with Paul, who you're gonna hear more from soon, uh, on the design of our program. Uh, and then a few weeks ago, uh, we got connected to XPRIZE as they were setting up their new uh, urban removal uh, prize. And so today what we're announcing is a collaboration between the three organizations. So Air Miners is officially working with Creative Destruction Lab to design the program so that we can support all the uh, applicants and competitors in the XPRIZE, in the XPRIZE uh, competition. So if you're a entrepreneur or a scientist or a startup, go check out the, the website for Launchpad. It's launchpad.airmires.org. And you've now got these three organizations that are fully backing your progress. Um, so together through, the, through this Launchpad, uh, we, we really want to supercharge companies to do something really critical for humanity, which is pull carbon from the air. So with that said, in addition to the Launchpad program, we plan to invest directly into this industry we are hiring a fund lead who's passionate about carbon removal as we set up the investment fund. Uh, and we're working with early LPs to invest into early stage uh, carbon removal startups. So if this sounds like you, please feel free to, to reach out. We've got a, a fund tab on the Launchpad 
website. Um, and so with that said, I'd love to turn it over to, to Nikki and Paul to talk more about uh, how this came together and what the, uh, what the launch pad can help you with. 